Sir Farazesha Merwanji Mehta the 4th of August 1845 to the 5th of November 1915 was an Indian political leader activist and a leading lawyer of Bombay who was knighted by the British government in India for his service to the law His political ideology was as was the case with most of the Indian leaders of his time moderate Hence, he was not directly opposed to the British Crown's sovereignty, but only demanded more autonomy for Indians to self-rule. He became the Municipal Commissioner of Bombay Municipality in 1873 and its President four times 1884, 1885, 1905 and 1911. He was chosen the President of the Indian National Congress in 1890. Early life. Mehta was born on 4 August 1845 in Bombay now Mumbai to a Parsi business family. His father, a Bombay-based businessman who also spent plenty of time in Calcutta, was not highly educated but he did translate a chemistry textbook into Gujarati and authored a geography textbook. Graduating from the Elphinstone College in 1864, Farazesha obtained his Master of Arts degree, with honours, six months later, becoming the first such Parsi, from the University of Mumbai. Scholar and then principal of the university, Sir Alexander Grant nominated him a fellow of the university and tried to procure him a scholarship founded by Jamset G. Jajiboy to study in Europe. However, Mehta did not avail the scholarship. Mehta went to England to study law at Lincoln's Inn in London. He was the first Parsi barrister called to the bar from Lincoln's Inn in 1868. Here, he met and began association with fellow Indian barristers Womesh Chunder Banerjee and Badruddin Tayabji. In 1868 he returned to India and was admitted to the bar, and soon established a practice for himself in a profession which was till then dominated by British lawyers. It was during a legal defence of Arthur Crawford that he pointed out the need for reforms in the Bombay Municipal Government. Later, he drafted the Bombay Municipal Act of 1872, and is thus considered the father of Bombay Municipality. Eventually, Mehta left his law practice to join politics. Political and social activities When the Bombay Presidency Association was established in 1885, Mehta became its president, and remained so for the rest of his years. He encouraged Indians to obtain Western education and embrace its culture to uplift India. He contributed to many social causes for education, sanitation and health care in the city and around India. Mehta was one of the founders of the Indian National Congress. He was the chairman of the reception committee in its fifth session in Bombay in 1889. He presided over the next session in Calcutta. Mehta was nominated to the Bombay Legislative Council in 1887 and in 1893 a member of the Imperial Legislative Council. In 1894, he was appointed a Companion of the Order of the Indian Empire C and was appointed a Knight Commander in 1904. In 1910, he started the Bombay Chronicle, an English language weekly newspaper, which became an important nationalist voice of its time, and an important chronicler of the political upheavals of a volatile pre independent India. He served as a member of Bombay's Municipal Corporation for six years. He saw through the British tactics of binding Parsi loyalty to the Crown, by repeatedly making Parsis feel superior by showering them with decorations and praise, as by 1946 as many as 63 Parsis had been knighted. In his presidential address to Indian National Congress, he once said, in speaking of myself as a native of this country, I am not unaware that, incredible as it may seem, Parsis have been both called and invited and allured to call themselves, foreigners." Mehta died on 5 November 1915, in Bombay. <laughs> Legacy A portrait of Farazesha Mehta at the Indian Parliament House, shows his importance in the making of the nation. He was known as the Lion of Bombay and Uncrowned King of Bombay. In Mumbai, even today Mehta is much revered, there are roads, halls and law colleges named after him. He is respected as an important inspiration for young Indians of the era, his leadership of India's bar and legal profession, and for laying the foundations of Indian involvement in political activities and inspiring Indians to fight for more self-government. In Mehta's lifetime, few Indians had discussed or embraced the idea of full political independence from Britain. 
As one of the few people who espoused involvement of the activity of Indians in politics, he was nicknamed Ferocious Mehta. See also Indian Independence Movement Indian National Congress Topic Bibliography Sir Farazesha Mehta, A Political Biography, Homi Modi. New York, Asia Pub. House, 1963. Sir Farazesha Mehta, Hormashi Parashah Modi. New Delhi, Publications Division, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting 1967, 1963 Life and Times of Sir Farazesha Mehta, V. S. Srinivasa Sastri, Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan, 1975. Farazesha Mehta, Sociopolitical Ideology, S. R. Bakshi. New Delhi, On Mole Publications, 1991. Sir Farazesha Mehta Memorial Vol. Godrej N. Dotavala. Bombay, Mayor's Fund Committee, 1990. Farazesha Mehta, Maker of Modern India Nawaz B. Modi. Allied Publishers, 1997. Sir Farazesha Mehta, A Sketch of His Life and Career, Spanish, Madras, G. A. Natazan 1916. Some unpublished and later speeches and writings of Sir Farazesha Mehta, Poo. Gigi Boy. Commercial Press, 1918. Ten Indian Biographies, in Hindi, Surendra Sharma, Avada Upadhyaya, Lakshminidhi Chaturvedi, P. S. Verma, P. N. O. J. H. A., Janakosharan Verma, Ganesha Datta Gaur. Prayaga, Hindi Press, 1930.